Hey, good morning Kathleen. This is Brayden from Pacific Toyota here in Cairns. Just doing a virtual tour on our 2016 Kia Rio sitting in front of me here uh, for a 13990 drive away. Thanks again for your inquiry. I just thought I'd send this little video, uh, take you through the whole car in detail. Um, any sort of marks or scratches I can find, I'm going to show them for you. whole idea is to be basically just as transparent as we can be with them. Um, yeah, so look, a bit of an idea who we are. So Toyota, Pacific Toyota here in Cairns. Uh, we're lucky enough to have two pre-owned vehicle yards up here. So this is actually the bigger one of the two. Um, we've got another one slightly closer to the town as well. And um, has between sort of anywhere between 180 to 200 cars at any one time. You can also see our uh, Toyota and Lexus showrooms up on the hill there. And our uh, spare parts department and um, service drop off down the, uh, the side street there as well. So pretty lucky where we are, but we're gonna get some pretty amazing cars like these because of it. So look, we'll... Um, Start from the very, very front. We'll keep going. I'll sort of, like I said, if anything doesn't stand, uh, quite come through in the video, let me know, and I'll um, get some photos through for you instead. So right from the very front, we've got a tiny little sort of chip there, like a little stone chip kind of thing that's already been touched up, which is awesome. Tiny little sort of scuff there too, but I reckon a bit of polish will be nearly even clean that up. And around again, just a little sort of stone chip there and there. It's just those common sort of areas. And again there. But pretty funny as we come around. Just there too. They've already been touched up. We've got one there that looks like it hasn't. Come around. So we've got the drive side front wheel. Obviously the steel rims on these guys with the genuine Kia um, hubcaps there for you too. Doesn't look like any gravel rash on that one, which is awesome. Uh, heaps and heaps of tread left on these guys too. They obviously got it for the roadworthies. Looks like a tiny little sort of stone chip just there. Across that bonnet as well, looking pretty clean. Just some minor sort of ones there and there. If they are a concern for you, let me know, and um, we can always talk to management, see if getting them touched up is um, something we can look at as well. So pretty clean as we come down here. And the passenger side, looks like just a tiny little bit of gravel rash there, and a little mark there. But otherwise, pretty clean. Pretty clean, excuse me. And uh, heaps and heaps of tread left on these guys still. We've got brand new tyres on there. So just a tiny little scuff there. But again, I reckon a little bit of polish might even clean that up. So obviously it is on sale at the moment. It was uh, 14990 drive away. It's now 13990 drive away. So I'm making it one of the cheapest in Queensland as it sits right now. So I'll show you right across that roof. So very clean up there. Tiny little sort of mark. Nope. A little bit of dirt come off. Even better. That's come off as well. We had a bit of interesting weather over the weekend, so they, um, it is a little bit dirty at the moment, but we're getting uh, re-cleaned before we send it down to you. So again, a little bit of gravel rash across there. Nothing too bad. A few little sort of fingernail marks on the actual on the handle itself. And one little actual mark just down there. But that's probably about the worst of it out of the whole car. So I'll just show you inside the, um, in the passenger door here, through that door card. Very clean, tiny little bit of sort of wear there. A little scuff there. Just those common ones from people sort of dragging their boots as they jump in and out. You've also got your uh, building compliance plates there for you too. Very clean through the inside. Really well maintained in here. So pretty good service history as well. While I'm here I'll actually show you that one. So we've got obviously your books, service manual here. So it looks like a pro... Uh, let's have a look what we've got here. So. First service, uh, 17, 2017, 16,710. Uh, next service, 2018, 39,000. Next service, uh, 2019, at 69,000. And then 2021, at 98,000. So, pretty good service history, been done every 12 months. That's the sort of stuff that we, that we try and look for with our cars. But very clean through there. Just wanna show you. In the back here too. Super clean through there. Again, there you go, it's just coming from your finger, it's even better. So you do have the 60-40 split with these guys, so you've got the little handle there. That's going to bring that one down, so that will give you much, much more access through the back as well. Um, the other side's going to do the same thing too. So once we jump around there, I'll leave that down because I want to show you how much space that actually changes once we get into the back. Fuel's obviously over here on the passenger side. You do have rear parking sensors on this one as well. So there, there, there. Of course, one on the other side there as well. 
pretty clean as we come across the bottom here. So you will have a space saver wheel in here as well, jack and tools, everything's down in there for you as well. Bit of storage over this side. Child anchor points are there, there and there, actually in the lower half. So three for all those seats. That little parcel shelf does come out. Once those seats drop down, you get a massive, massive space through there. But pretty clean all on the inside of this, um, the boot here too. Let's come around. Very clean still. Looks like it's just a minor sort of little chip there. And again, just those fingernail ones on the, um, on the door handles. Okay, just a little tiny bit of wear there. But other than that, very, very clean. Like I said, you can drop this one down as well. Giving you all that space in the back if you do need it. Once that parcel shelf comes out, huge amount of space back there. And the driver's side here too. A little bit of wear on the actual driver's handle. It's the most high, like obviously the highest traffic area to the car. But on that, and again, just those sort of common ones from people just jumping in and out. A little bit of tiny scuffing down there. Now, sure, people like myself, I love this little feature. So you can actually raise these seats up in height and lower that straight back down. So it gives you a bit better vision over the bonnet. That little one there is going to adjust that backrest for you. Uh, as we jump in, I'm going to jump in there now because it's just starting to rain. Good old Cairns weather. So barrels over the right hand side, foot on the brake for these ones to start it up. Got two genuine Kia uh, keys there too, sorry, there you go. Two genuine Kia keys, so you've got the access to the boot and the central locking through that as well. Uh, while we're here, so obviously the uh, blinkers and everything are on the right hand side, you've got your parkers, headlights, high beams and blinkers all there for you. There you go. <laughs> uh, then on the left hand side, we've got your wipers and everything like that, pretty standard. Uh, up on the steering wheel, Bluetooth, radio controls all over the left hand side here. You can jump between your USB, AUX, and of course your Bluetooth. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Bluetooth from this one here. <laughs> and your cruise control, everything on the right hand side here as well. So you can set and reset your trips from there. Uh, down in the actual driver's side door itself, we've got the window control. So automatic button, you can push that once, it's going to go down. You get your window locks, and of course your, uh, your mirror controls. So right hand side of the car, left hand side, and adjust that as you need to. Uh, up on the actual dash here itself, traction controls, of course your brightness for the um, uh, all display and everything like that. And you've got an adjustment here for your uh, headlights. So you can actually change the angle of the, the, um, the headlights themselves. So if you're driving on a remote sort of road, uh, you can actually adjust those and get a little bit more vision out of those, which is awesome. Uh, the bonnet release is just down there for you. Fuel release, like I said, is over on the passenger side, but the, uh, the actual release itself is down here on the floor. Uh, as we come around, genuine handbrake on these guys, the normal handbrake like that. Uh, heaps and heaps of storage, good for phones, good for cups, all that sort of thing. Uh, as we come up, so again through the gears, you uh, just your straightforward shift on these ones. You can put it across to a manual mode, so you've got the plus and the minus down there. So if you do want to change gears or control it yourself, you can. Uh, heaps of good storage, again, for your phones. They're giving a little uh, cut out there as well, so they, don't, they uh, don't slide around while they're charging. Accessory plugs in there, USB, AUX as well. So really easy setup with them. Uh, Aircon controls are all here for you. You've got your fans, temperatures, and of course where you want to come in out of. Central locking's over here, so you can push that. That's going to lock and unlock the car. And of course your radio options up here too. So CD player, no one's left with your one in there. <laughs> Pretty rude. Uh, you got your hazard lights and everything up the top. Radio stations down the bottom. And of course you can flip between, like I said, your Bluetooth, AUX, uh, all that sort of stuff from, from this one here. And of course your volume and everything on there as well. Uh, as we come up to the roof, so you got the visors on the inside there too, your little microphone for the Bluetooth just up here. Again, mirrors on both of those sides for you as well. So a very, very tight little unit. It's been looked after very, very well. Obviously being a 2016, it's, um, we're pretty particular about the cars that we do get, so we've got to make sure they're like this where they, um, yeah, they've been treated well and good history and all that sort of thing. So little drop down handles the whole way around, just not on the driver's side itself. Um, airbags and seats, dashes absolutely everywhere. So look, what I'm going to do is quickly face the rain and um, show you just under that bonnet while this is running for you as well. Beautiful, that's a little motor in there. They're very, very well looked after. 
very clean engine bay. That's the sort of stuff that we do look for as well. So obviously we guarantee no write-offs, no accidents or anything like that. So Kathleen, this actually uh, concludes our virtual tour. Thanks heaps for watching and again for your inquiry and I um, look forward to hearing from you soon.